here we are after leaving South Stradbert Island heading up the Coomera River for the last big job. My son Donald leaving the boat after his week aboard and I've done an amphibious landing, cycled to work at the um, Sanctuary Cove boat show um, as my job as a yachting journalist and boat captain. I do a lot of sea trials and talking to boat builders and uh, this is me checking out the Aquila 54 which I'll be taking on a sea trial after the boat show. Uh, Paracat, Chinese made Paracat, beautifully made. Um, I've tested most of the range uh, of these uh, Kila boats over the last few years and this is the largest one that's come to Australia. Um, the uh, the Paracat is a very popular uh, market segment um, and in Australia particularly very popular. Yeah, the boat show is pretty good. Um, a week of mayhem for me, um, night and day sort of meeting and greeting and discussing um, all aspects of the boats and um, the equipment in the halls. Um, the big four electronics guys, they take a lot of my time, the Garmin's, the Navico's, Ray Marines, uh, Lawrence. Um, and yeah, the show was pretty good. Um, quite a lot of equipment. Uh, outside there was quite a lot of equipment and in the evening some of the big like the Horizon, the uh, Taiwanese built, um, I've, I've enjoyed taking some of these Horizons out. Bit of entertainment for us with the, uh, this Brazilian brand uh, introduced to Australia. A good way to um, get the attention uh, with some of the uh, some of the dancers. But after the show, the serious work for me of testing a lot of these boats begins. And uh, this is one to show you. Uh, this is a very high speed sailing catamaran, a carbon. Um, Chinese built 50 foot performance catamaran that I took off, uh, took out off the Gold Coast. Um, this is a really high performance boat, not for your um, average sailor. Um, pretty dangerous in the wrong hands, this with, with carbon dagger boards. These dagger boards cost about 100,000 bucks just for the dagger boards. So, yeah, we um, carefully took this boat out and um, had a good, uh, good voyage on it. Um, probably about, ooh, I think it's about 3.2 million Australian dollars this boat. Um, I took it to Wavebreak Island and anchored it there to have a feel of it at rest and um, have a really good explore of, of it. Um, this, uh, this boat is destined for North FNQ. Moving on, Australian built boat. This is the biggest uh, Maritimo that the company's done, the S75 I took out which um, is a stunning boat, um, huge aft deck for um, water toys and um, yeah, a really good example of Australian boat building which I've got, you know, I try and support as much as possible. But yeah, after, the, after a week of, two weeks of sea trials, it was time to, with my own humble little boat Skybird to um, leave Hope Harbour Marina, but on the way out, problem. This is me getting ready for the voyage north and my old 13 year old Mercury. Unfortunately, the engine casing is leaking um, and I took the cylinder head off and found that the cylinder head, the actual thermostat is bust. And you know, these old two stroke engines, you know, they do have a shelf life, a limited shelf life. So yeah, I got a new cylinder head gasket um, and see how I go with it. Meantime, being a solo sailor mostly, the ST600 Ray Marine, it, it was given a plastic jacket for when I go offshore. These uh, Ray Marines ST600s are notorious for leaking, you know, um, if they get swells on them. And so, yeah, I just made it out of a plastic bag. I just made a, a little jacket for it, which is really just a, you know, a, it's not really 100% waterproof. It just stops the swells when the swells hit the cockpit from actually impregnating the uh, the actual plastics. So um, yeah, that and quite a few other jobs were quite last minute as I'm now preparing to head north, as you'll see in the next episode when I start leaving this region of the Gold Coast uh, with old Skybird and um, 
heading to really exciting new cruising grounds. But um, it's been a great time on the Gold Coast. <laughs>